Welcome to Cyber Culture Interface. Today we are looking at how I passed my certified in cyber security exam on my first attempt, the ISC2.org certified in cyber security exam. This exam has been up for free for some time now. I think it started late last year. The ISC2 is giving out free vouchers and a lot of people have been taking the exam. So it's time for you to pass it. How I passed my own uh, exam in my first attempt, I'm just going to give us a go through of what I did, how I did it. This is a this is an answer to a lot of questions I've been getting from my comments on the YouTube videos on what to do, especially for people who are coming from a non-technical background. So today we are going straight into discussing how this was done. So the first thing I did, or the first thing I would advise someone, especially for those who are coming from a non-technical background, is for you to go to isc2.org website itself. So when you go to the website, say you are going to learn a lot about what the exam is for, who the exam is for, what the exam's past grade, how do you register for the exam, what's the benefit of even writing the exam. I think it's very important for you to do this first because you don't want to go into an exam that you don't even have an understanding of what the exam is all about. So the first thing you should do is to go to isc2.org check it out so this you can see the page you can see isc2.org here so check out the exam read about the free exam and training read about what the exam is all about starting your exam starting your cyber security what are the benefits you can see what you need to do you know uh and if you are getting started you know there's a there's how to become how to register you know there's a there's a free uh, you know certificate free voucher going on on this website you can see you can look for how you can get the free exam but basically the essence of coming here first is to understand what the exam is all about the number of questions the number of hours you take the exam is about the 200 questions how many hours do you take two hours you know you need to find out all this information first before you even start preparing so the next thing you do when you find out this information is go on youtube you know you can like you're doing right now you're watching this youtube video for so you go on youtube you can look for you know how people pass what their video people who pass the exam watch their video see what they did how they went about it you can also watch videos of people who failed it too but Focus more on people who pass the exam and get motivated, get inspired to write the exam. You know, hear their view, hear the the way they prepared for the exam. Like you're watching this video right now, do more of that. You can get familiar. All this will get you motivated and get to get into the mood in no time. So when you are done with that, the next thing you do is to start preparing. So for this preparation, it's very important for you to know that the best way to prepare for an exam is to go to the people that are setting the exam and access the training materials they found out so i used to tell people that you may not even need any other training material if you understand perfectly and you get your hands on with the training material that isc2.org itself prepares so if you go to members place you can see members benefits under members benefits you'll be able to access the learning portals where you can see videos and study materials so the first thing i will say to you to do is get to watch the video register after registering and having access to the learning portals and the members benefits watch the videos watch the videos first you know then they have some soft copy materials that are ebooks too then you go and study the ebooks if you are not already advanced in cyber security and you are not very familiar with this concept you cannot just read the ebooks alone and think you are ready you may be missing out some things. The video has more information. It's interactive. You can take the quizzes too. So it's good for you to watch the video and then read the study material and then come back to the video to refresh. And every time you watch these videos, please make sure you attempt all the quizzes and keep attempting the quizzes until you pass above 75%. That's what will help you. When you are passed above 75% every time, then it shows that you are ready for the exam so remember watch the video download the ebook so you have the ebooks you know like this you have on chapter one security principles chapter summary you know the ebooks go to uh incident response business continuity the books are short short about nine nine about nine pages uh the chapter one is 17 pages 
so you can also um go to chapter four network security you know chapter five security operation get yourself familiar with the books after watching the video and then come back to watch the video and when you have done when you have done that so you can now go to accessing third party materials you know when i mean third party material you can go to youtube and look for things like maybe uh, network security uh you can see network security uh basics take the basic things don't go for advanced topics because certified in cyber security actually is a basic course an entry level course so you take the entry level program make sure you you know get familiar with what the exam is uh the topics each of the topics so there are about five about you know you are going to be tested in about six five to six domains so you can go to youtube check out different you know tutorials on those different domains and you can go to places like tryacme.com you can go to hackthebox.com there are many queries you know are listening the links i'm going to put the links to some of these resources in the description so that you can get to find out to widen your perspective or widen your uh, knowledge in this area so that you will not just be restricted to what you've watched on isc2.org but honestly the content that you're going to get from isc2.org for cyber certified in cyber security exam may be enough for you to take the test and pass especially when you've gone through the quizzes and you've gotten above 75 percent consistently i bet you you are ready so the last thing i want to mention is that when you are done with you know going through all these resources learning watching the videos reading material make sure you don't stay long schedule your exam watch the video i created a video you know um you the link to the video will be in the in the description and at the end of, towards the end of this video you also see it in the in the credits you know where the link to my video on how to register for the exam make sure you do all this thing within four months don't waste time after reading after preparing for the exam schedule the exam and go for it immediately go for it as soon as possible why you are still boiling with the content you have consumed you know why your brain is still you know sharp with the contents of the exam within three all these process i listed you can achieve everything within four months i also did a video on how to write this exam within four months so go to my videos watch the videos schedule your exam write it and pass it and that's how i passed the cyber certified in cyber security exam in my first attempt so once again if you are new to this channel we are always talking about things to help you know getting started in cyber security and you're explaining different cyber security companies so this is cyber culture interface please like this channel subscribe and share like subscribe and share and let's get this channel to grow more so that we can be motivated to do more videos thank you for watching this video